is. Well, there it is. Hi, guys. Witty Warcraft here. Welcome to Lava Defense, a Warcraft free custom game. This plays like a defense survival map with melee mechanics in terms of the gameplay. We're going to take a look at our settings. Let's go with Sunken Ruins and change the trees. Ashen Fell. So you have different themes. The first one being 15 waves. This is what you're fighting against. There's enemy hordes. We'll also be fighting against this. And there's Doom. So you can choose any one of those that you want. Or all three of them. It's up to you. Now we choose the difficulty. Between easy, normal, hard. We'll go with hard. So, you will have a race. I'm going to play as Orc. And build Triple Hero, Blade Master, Shadow Hunter, Tauren Chieftain with casters. And maybe transition later on into Taurens if my army needs to go over the 50 food. But you do have the upkeep to take into account. So, for now, I'm going to sit at 50 food for as long as I possibly can. I said that you could mess around, because we've played this before. Tried it in Reforged. Unfortunately, it crashed. So, don't know if it's still going to crash in single player um, on normal Classic Warcraft 3, but it did crash on Reforged. So, for the time being, I can't show you it in Reforged. But, um, yeah, when I was playing it, it was a case of, oh, you could go Human, go Archmage, so you got Blizzard Brilliance Aura, Alchemist, so you got uh, Acid Bomb for reducing the enemy's armor and healing Wave for sustain, and then Dark Ranger as your third hero for charm in the end game. So you can possess. But then again, you could just go undead, go mass banshees and possess, because you're going to be getting attacked by random creeps. And we'll go over this in a moment. So I said it's a defense survival map. That's because you work as a team, or in this case, single player, can be played that way, to defend this barrow den. Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy. It's your and boy. we're going to go first hero with the Blade Master. Kidson, thank you very much there for the sub. Howdy. Howdy doody. So, we don't want to overdo it with peons, actually. I think that's enough. Because the trees don't dissipate in this, so you get a lot of lumber, actually. I've actually got five peons, which maybe even might be a little bit too much. We'll see. So, pop on over here. Going to build up an army. So the army is going to consist of headhunters. So coming back down to it. Once this guy finishes building a shop, which we'll put over here. There we go. The creatures are going to spawn here and up here. If you're playing a single player. But if you're playing this as a team, it would be eight players, four, te uh, four teams of two. So, you would work with a buddy to fight against the creatures that are going to spawn. And then they will make their way down from here, through the middle, to destroy your barrow den. So it's essentially a last man standing style situation. Blade Master is first. Even though typically I would go Torrent Chieftain with this kind of build. Because Blade Master has the potential to be really, really strong, as we know. So whilst that Archmage setup that I was speaking about earlier sounds really tempting, particularly with the Dark Ranger as a third hero. If we can get some good items, we could make this Blade Master insane. But that comes later on. However, you can still get items early on. So let's go over this. There's the phases, 15 waves, 15 waves spawn in 100 second intervals, every fifth wave contains a hero along with wave spawn, a power generator, so if you destroy this, it gives the enemy 30% damage bonus, and you get rewarded with an item. However, it's not really worth it for the first few waves, because one, you're setting up your army, and two, it'll probably kill you. You might be able to do it without being killed, but it might depend on what gets sent your way. I'm not sure if the creeps are randomized or whether they're always fixed, but 
the enemy will come at you with, say, for example, uh, some quill bores, kobolds, fiends, that kind of thing, and even banshees. They love to throw banshees at you so they can steal your units. It's really fun. Um, six peons now. How do we keep going up in numbers on those peons? We're going to stay at six because we're going to get way too much lumber. I'm going to just upgrade the steel headhunters. The borough can wait. So we've got 36 seconds. Enemy hordes is the next phase. There's four large armies that march towards your den. If you kill them quickly, you get less punished. Then there's doom, which spawns a whole array of demons, infernals, fell hounds, doom guards, everywhere. And you need to destroy the portals, I believe. So not really much fun to play against that one. I haven't even done it yet. But I can imagine it's going to be very stressful. Stylo is warning me that this still may crash. Because it could be filled to the brim with memory leaks. We'll just have to handle it. Wow. Oh, I could have sold the scroll of temple. So if you destroy this, I said I shouldn't. I'm greedy though. I, I can maybe do it in the first round, see how we get on. <laughs> I really shouldn't though. So first wave is ink. Oh, it looks like it is fixed actually. Because this was the same army that I fought against the last time. Oh, that's not too bad, though. If I spread my damage. And let the trolls sort of soak it up. Because they get headhunters regen when I get tier 2. The creeps are clever, by the way. They're like level 7 creatures. They will always focus the weakest unit on the field. So you've got to be careful with that. As you can see. Teching up. I'm going straight for troll regeneration, and then we'll work on to the second hero. For now, you can use the healing. Because that troll regeneration isn't going to kick in hard enough. I might be greedy. I mean, what, what a surprise. But I might well be greedy. And just try to still kill the power generator every time. Because I want to see what items can drop. And I'm going to still concentrate mostly on headhunters and then slowly transition. What a surprise, eh? Who would have thought I would ever do something that could get me killed by being greedy? But then again, you know, with great greed comes great responsibility and gold! So, you know, that's always something to take into account. Scroll of protection, though. Ah, I'm going to use it for this level. It's actually not bad item, technically, but we want permanent items, really. Like slippers of agility to start off with and whatnot. Alright, let's go. Oh, there's those Banshees. It's time to get screwed over by the Banshees. I'm going to use this Blade Master to block that Banshee from reaching. So this is next level micro. Pull back. Oh, yes. And we're going to take down the big boy because he's very, very annoying. He spreads poison. Blade Master is not able to take this. I'm just going to do another one of those even though it's not exactly uh, great with his low health. But, you know... Tech is coming through. I love the poison. Not bad. Uh, gonna buy some. You could just say, why doesn't he just pass it over to his hero? For me personally, it's easier just to drop it on the ground. Oh, that's why he does it. Yes. Thanks. Okay. Tier 3. I haven't got a burrow though, so there's no third hero. Because my macro sucks. What do we get? <gasps> oh, I'm not going to be able to kill this in time. Ah! 
All right. You'll get to see how easy it is then if you don't kill it. So at least I guess it'll show that off. So they won't have the 30% extra damage this time. Because you've got to remember, you're fighting versus this, and then there's 30%. I'm going to kill everything except for the big guy, because he can summon those water elementals, and that's experience for me. Alright. Maybe I'm just going to go mass trolls. I might not even want shaman. I was thinking about it, but 50 food, I'm almost capped as it is. I'm not going to have that much space. Third hero is going to take up even more when that burrow is done. So you can see that was uh, much more comfortable. But obviously we want the greed. We want the rewards. No, I don't think that was a crown of kings or anything like that. Pretty unlikely that was the case. I think the items will get more powerful as it goes on, but I don't think you're going to get Crown of Kings straight away. So these trees take a long time to destroy, so you can get good, good lumber at the beginning. Get closer. You can get closer than you currently are. Need more lumber. Ah, oh, but research is going to be complete. Ah, you better get out of here soon, buddy. This is going to get messy. Yeah, I think the, the creep levels are fixed. So, I guess it's fair in that sense. So they're not randomized like I suspected they might be. Oh, that's Burrito Cat. Thank you very much. boy, Richard Oh, okay. So, oh, I just lost a headhunter there. That was bad. But, um, I was going to say, prioritize getting an army first if you're going to play this yourself. Because there's a big difference between straight teching, which is what I tried to do, but then I got overrun because I got too greedy and I didn't have an army to fight off the enemy. But you can see it's... It's quite nice if you get like close to 50 food ASAP and then you can sort of concentrate your tech. Thank you again there for the uh, Sarbs. So we're concentrating on our damage. We're going to have very little in the way of Witch Doctors. I mean, I'll probably lose a Headhunter or two over time and then that can just be replaced with um, Casters. But I want to stay at 50 food for as long as I can. Because there's only one gold mine. And it's like, play it like 4 versus 4 RT star. You've got defenses here that you can use, but I haven't needed to use it on the Barrow Den yet. I'm just trying to kill them before they even get close to the thing, so. Ah, what is that? Anyway, this is a nasty wave, so we're going to use this item. Because <laughs> it can spawn heroes. Wave 5 spawns heroes. And you can see the panda is one of them. We're going to go for that Lich soon. Uh. Spirit Link is so good, though. Orc heroes and their casters. Just utter insanity. Alright, kill the other hero now. Although, you can pick off this guy. Meat Wagon's kind of annoying. I'll leave the Blade Master on him. that's dealt with. So we're just going to concentrate on like researches for now. There's your, your healing. Oh, bestiary as well for the um, Kodo. Yes. Kodo's pretty good. I mean, that's the downside, isn't it? With the casters is they don't benefit from upgrades. So, if I lose these headhunters to get different units, which are probably going to be just as useful, they won't have that extra damage that they get. They get some nice, tasty damage. Yes, 
Yes, Lord. Research complete. I am one. Research complete. Should have picked that. I always do that. Like, level up beforehand. Annoying mountain giant. Alright, pretty cushy so far. You can, you know, buy stuff from the shop that you built over here, like uh, all the lightning and stuff. You could just stack up on items as well. And then drop those for practical purposes. Like backups if you needed them. For my ancestors. We are enemies be hiding. Oh, hey. Yes, I will hear and obey. Yes, excellent choice. Who do I kill? Yes, yes, Lord. Tell me, I serve. Oh, we are enemies. You are my ancestors. Yes, Lord. I grant my blade. What thou may I serve? Oh. Right away. Yeah, ring of regeneration is not too bad. That gets harder to kill each time. Oh, <laughs> a lot of air. Huh. I'm just not going to use mana on my witch doctor. I think. I think I'll be okay. So we're doing fine for the time being. Got a, I think the headhunters are doing a better job than when I went like for a stronger caster army. Because I was lacking damage. But it seems like it's doing pretty well with just mass headhunters. They're very valuable units, like cost ratio wise. Guess that Barrow Den's got nothing to worry about. The downside of having your building hotkeys on 7, 8, and 9. It's just a pain to get to. Might go Torrents eventually. Just get another burrow for now. Looks like 6 peons was pretty good, actually, for the time being. Eventually, I'll have too many. And you can just sacrifice them if you need to, so it's not exactly a big deal. Ah! Kill it. Whoa! Pendant of energy. Sick. Is that a witch? In the where the hell is that coming from? You're throwing me off. I need to kill those um, gargoyles fast because they regenerate if they go into that form, and it means the level's going to last longer. How did I get frost over? I feel like I got frost over there. Hey guys, how's it going? Have a mask. Thank you there for the serve. I don't even know what upgrades to go against that. Because you don't really oh, use your buildings. Daddy boy. Yes, the pandas. Oh, yeah. The pandas have got it. Won't someone think of the pandas? Yeah, it's your boy. Witty Warcraft. Right away. I'm going to be generous with my uh, frivolous with my sentry ward usage so I can get much clearer vision. <gasps> Shit! 
Token ain't that good. Back up. Your spirit link doesn't. I mean, does everything, sorry. It's the rain of fire that doesn't matter. No dispel magic on my uh, awesome healing war. Yeah, this headhunter army's really working out, by the way. So I tried to chuck shaman and stuff like that in there, but they just kept running out of mana. Maybe if I get Kaga's pipe of insight or something, I can chuck him in. But one spirit walker plus a couple of witch doctors plus the rest headhunters seems to be doing a great job. And it's saving me a lot of resources that I can then go into 100 food if I need to for the late game. And with everything like researched. I mean a Kodo would be nice. I could maybe lose a couple of headhunters for a Kodo. But it's... I wonder if the head, two headhunters that you lose would do the same amount of damage that the Kodos provide. Probably not because heroes are going to get a lot of damage. And that reminds me. I can just go around constantly buying all the lightning over and over and over. Might be overdoing it a bit with some of the spending. I'm not really... Uh... Doing that slightly early. So it'll be available for when the creatures come at me. Ooh, that's better. Oh shit! <laughs> I was like, where's the where's the level? Am I blind? Yeah, it's hitting me hard this level. Very hard. This is obviously a very difficult level. So I'm gonna lose a couple of units here because I'm not doing the best control because it's caught me unawares, but Bloody mana shield. Why won't you die? Alright, an excuse to replenish forces then. Mana shield is OP now. Blizzard did technically buff it, and that was like a maximum level mana shield that felt like, because that was very efficient. Okay, so we lost the cow, right? So we need a cow replacement. Maybe one shaman. I don't think it's that... Maybe if you just use it for lightning shield, it could be worth it. And then it puts me at an awkward 49 food, so we can sacrifice a peon. I've got almost all the researches, so I think I could sacrifice like three peons at this stage. Hey, guys. How's it hey, going? Hey, Badita. Thank boy, you there very much for the boy, sub. Richard Witty here. <gasps> Power gen... Oh, no! I do that from time to time. I forget the power generators there. Okay, here we go. The thing I like about this... Ah, uh, there's always one, isn't there? Yeah. I so look forward to the potential of... I mean, you can use the peons with Spirit Link if you really want to, but I'd rather just kill them and get more units out of it. Right. One Spirit Walker, one Shaman, two Witch Doctors... Maybe one more Witch Doctor? I know I could technically go one more Shaman, and I guess that's what that leaves me food-wise. Unless I kill another Peon. I guess it has to be then. Yeah. But, um, yeah, if we could get, like, all of the units on the same hotkey, that'd be lovely. Oh. 
This gets stronger each time. So you need to have enough DPS to kill that. Mass snacks though. What a way to go. What a guy! I could use dispel here, but I don't even think it's necessary. They're getting obliterated. So when they haven't got the heroes, they're quite easy, actually. It's when they've got the heroes that it really messes things up. Yes, I just go heal him with you. I want more Pendant of Energies. Shadow Hunter with Pendant of Energy is one of the most broke things in this game. For any aspiring melee players. I mean, I guess, in case they do somehow go into my base. Who's going to grab it? Strength and agility. That's not bad. I almost rather give that to the Torrent Chief than the Blade Master. Although, really, it's fine on either one. Oh, yes! It's a happy Blade Master. Doing well on resources. Hello, Lightning Shield. That's got to run out. I suppose I'll move you, but it's too impatient. Didn't want to have to move. Oh, Blade Master needs some mana, though. Oh, they can see invisible. Oh, I lost a headhunter. Such a noob. Oh, sh who's the cheeky ch- Ah! Oh! Siege engine can't attack units. Ooh, see you later, Shaman. I gotta recheck what units to buy. Ain't I supposed to be destroying this? Yeah, it's a bit tricky. Well, it's wave 15. You can use it once per phase. So 15 is the last one. <laughs> you do all that work and then you lose to like one siege engine. Well, like, where's the justice? 
All right, we need. Yeah, let's just get the. I've already got one shaman. The shaman. Eh, get another one. Well, this escalated quickly. Oh, yeah, come on. Oh, something is just slicing through my units. I think that 30% extra damage might be a little bit broke. <laughs> okay. I think that's an oversight. I think I know exactly what's happened here. I think the 30% extra damage might have worked on locusts. Because my army... I, he's got a big army. And that's doing damage. But I feel like... Locust might have... I, may, I might be wrong. How can I help? But it feels like Locust might have been doing like a gajillion damage there. Which is why my army on the east hand side was just being torn apart where my where the Crypt Lord was moving. Because I looked at the Crypt Lord and I saw my units just like... Their health was going right, right down. But again, I can't... Because I'm trying to micro at the same time. I can't take all of that completely into consideration. But you guys can check the FOD if you wish. But this was awesome. This is Lava Defense. And if you guys are interested, I don't know if I can link this map to you yet because Stylo might not be finished with it. So if it's available, then I'll put it in the video description. If it's not, then I just won't. Simple as that. But hopefully you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did smash that like button. Harder than you've ever smashed before. Ah. Oh. Let's get this video to 10,000 likes. And, um, yeah. Take care. I didn't sneeze, Abermast. I said smash. That wasn't a sneeze. Yeah. No, that was cool. This is this has got really good potential. And it can be played multiplayer as well. So it's not just a solo affair. You can play this as a team. So you've got more of that kind of camaraderie. And it's kind of funny to watch how other players will handle the situations. But it is melee, so it's going to be tough. A lot of people are just going to die really easily if you pick the settings I pick. Especially if you come across locusts. I hope that's what it was, because if it wasn't locusts, I'd, I got crushed. But I felt like it was locusts. Anyway. GG. Take care.